the structure of energy supply has changed. And what does this mean? Why this is dangerous for the governments, especially Iranian governments, French government, American government, the German government is that when we put energy now and we are delivering the energy supplies, this is your system here and this is the nuclear power station here. You send a plasma field at the point of getting absorbed by nuclear pellets, nuclear rods, high energy, a plasma energy, you can imagine what happens there. The nuclear power stations have to be disconnected from the grid instantly in the coming weeks and months as more people are using. In a way, we have made nuclear industry obsolete. When you cannot use it, what it says, it means there is no need for it. So this is why I said to my government, and I have requested His Excellency Ayatollah Rouhani not to negotiate till we show you can have the whole of the nuclear power station of Iran free, take it wherever you like. Because now there is a problem before it even becomes a full commission, fully operating over a year, the Iranian nuclear reactor is obsolete because the power supply can be done at home. You don't need to buy units from the Keshe Foundation. At home, any Iranian can put energy, use energy, put energy into the grid. And if this energy goes down the line in the transmission lines into the nuclear the structure of Iranian nuclear power station, we have a huge problem. Fukushima will be child's play. Don't forget, you have a few hundred nuclear reactors in the United States. A number of these units has been sold to the United States. We will get them to the people who bought it. Cash Foundation have different means of getting this technology to the reach of the people. So I warn the American government, I warn especially the French government, and I warn especially the German government. Please, you're warned, start looking for this connection of the nuclear power stations from the main green feeding line. The rest of the world nations who have no nuclear power stations will benefit by it, your nation can benefit by it, but there is a situation in this regard that plasma in, the, in let's say, coal power stations, it still goes through the turbine, but it goes in oil, it goes into the structure, it's nothing there. But with the nuclear power stations, the nuclear material has the capability to absorb the energy of the plasma because it works through the plasma. Nuclear technology is a plasma technology in a matter state. So my call goes very directly to the American government. If you are listening, send the tape of this recording to all the officials in your government that with a new technology, free energy five times, ten times over is now reality. But with it, the nuclear nations are burdened with a huge death because once you block, once you take the power station out of the grid, now you have a huge problem with decommissioning. Cost billions. Burden on the nation, systems which are running are not producing. And you can never put them back on the grid. It's impossibility because if so many people in the United States use this system, so many people in, in Europe use this system, even we only need more or less for the whole of Europe, less than 1,000 units across Europe to operate. In a very short time, they link up. Very, very short time. We need less than 500 units to operate in U.S. to start seeing the problem. This is a warning. 
And if you don't understand it, understand something very simple. The more people tap into the energy supply, supplied with this system, the further they extend the drawing of the energy from the source. So let's look at, let's say, a country like Italy, like a boot. We put, let's say, 20 systems across Italy. The furthest point as it calls for the energy, it calls on the system. So the whole system gets nano-coated and relies on the plasma supply. Less than 50 units in Italy will force the Italian government to more or less start shutting down coal fire power stations, gas fire power stations, because they, they will run, but they will not put anything into the grid. We've seen this with the operation of the cars, where people ask, how can you run a car with a starter motor running? Because the starter motor, you look at it as a matter of state, but now the starter motor, because of its engagement with the engine, works on a plasma state, you convert the plasma energy into mechanical energy directly. That's why your motor runs. Because the plasma has a habit of manifesting itself as a matter if it comes from the sun. It's a plasma, goes down the line in the space of the solar system, and then changes to matter when the strength comes. And in positions, it changes itself to force field to create motion. So you got to understand, with this technology, with delivery of energy this way, where we sell you a car unit, we don't sell a power unit. We sell a system plasma, which is strong enough that it delivers the system to the starter motor, that in contact conversion rotates the engine as you are running the engine. It changes plasma into a mechanical force. In a dynamic force, which is the property of the plasma. None of you up to today have understood this. To you was how can a cola sized bottle energy run a car? Because now you deal in a plasma condition. You convert the energy of the plasma at a point of need, at a point of demand to whatever you like. You can even convert the plasma if you know how to do it, which we'll show you in the coming time, to banana, to food, to water, anything you like to do. This is not a fairy tale. This is what you've been waiting for, and I explain it to you again that you fully understand. In a very simple way, we do it again and again to all of you understand it. This is the shell of the solar system. This is the sun. Radiates gravitational magnetic field plasma. And as this field here reduces in strength, becomes hydrogen. Here, as it reduces, it becomes, let's say, iron. As it reduces somewhere else, becomes field force to be able to push, create condition of field force on a planet like Earth. So now your system has become the sun. Now you are pointing it which way you want to go by putting the plug into the cigarette lighter. So you have the capability with your cigarette lighter unit to produce food, water, energy as you like, same as solar system. Because you don't burn a fuel, you open a plasma. As you open a plasma, it means you open a sun. It's the same property. It's the same structure. And as you've seen, the change of the game is it costs nothing to produce it. Zero cost. A Chinese girl does it at the age of five in a toilet in Beijing or somewhere, which they put a video on. So I don't think it'll be very hard for the President of the United States to understand what it's about. A five-year-old Chinese girl 
has understood. A man from Africa explained it to us. We've seen new developments in Philippines. We've seen new developments in South America. And in the coming days, we will show a full flight system. Not only the energy, we are ready to show the flight system in public. We choose the time and the place, not like last time, when the Belgium authorities came and confiscated everything and locked it up in my lab. If I was a criminal, you arrest me, you take my material. Why you ban me and keep my material with me? It means I'm correct, you're fraud. So now, we told the whole public, everybody can do it. The clock on showing a full flight is ticking. It's ticking very, very rapidly. The way we showed the power supply, as you see there, in this room, in this university, and not here anymore, as a gift to the foundation in the new research center, we will show a full flight in coming time. Nobody can stop us. We have all the facilities, and if they do, beforehand, four units will spread across the world that four places simultaneously will show the same thing. That this time, there is no place for one. And I have chosen where it's going to be, which continent. We'll try to show it in one continent. Each continent will show one flight system simultaneously when we decide. We're getting ready for what I said, 21st of September, the first satellite gift from American or any other nation to cash on it. Road map for peace is ultimate, we'll achieve it, and the beauty of it is too many people around the world have started looking at the technology very seriously since last Thursday. So what I said, I still thank all the nations in what they showed the first war for knowledge completed peacefully. Now we start the process of peace through knowledge. And I have no problem in showing things because now we show knowledge has more value than war. So it has more precious comfort to bring all of us than creating misery. In the coming days, we'll show new developments beyond imagination. But it's so simple that if Armand can do it with no PhD in plasma physics, you have a PhD in plasma physics. Now I give you one. What do you don't want? He's got masters. Then anybody can do it. As I said, I bring the knowledge understood so easily that a common man with no scientific background we can use it to the benefit of himself and his nation. We've seen how Armin changed the course. Now we've seen Alex and then the others which are waiting to come online to show what they can achieve. At the moment, as we have talked in our teachings, We most probably in the next week or two will show it here. We used to have a telephone box at every corner to be able to talk using landline. Now we communicate through mobile phones. In the coming weeks, we'll show you these telephone boxes needed a light which was supplied through the grid. As they have become obsolete because of the mobile phone, so has the cable business. You can have as much energy as you need, wherever you need, like a mobile phone. Now, go back into what I told you two years ago, three years ago. If you have two mobile phones, you can have whatever you like. You dismantle one to make your nanomaterials and you use the other to receive the energy which you left at home anywhere in the world. You connect your mobile phone to your cigarette 
lighter. Nowadays, to charge it up, now you connect your cigarette lighter through your mobile phone to drive your car. Because you receive energy from the source. Tesla did this, but he only worked on gravitational. Now you work on magnetical. You work on the plasma condition. In the coming weeks, I will bring a cigarette lighter here, and we can run a car as much as you like. Because this is now, the system is running. It's not that it's going to be developed. Wireless transfer of energy has already been started. Is there a need for power station? No. Tesla car, which has come with its rechargeable batteries, you've got to go to the fuel station to charge it and take it home to charge a battery at home, is already obsolete. We have the technology, and as Giovanni said, most probably by this afternoon, we'll have the prototype. We are ahead by two days. We were supposed to have it ready by Saturday. Yeah? So we might deliver a caller size for every need of man. Even you can leave the cocoa size at home to supply your car while you're driving through your mobile phone. This is not fairy tale, this is a reality. Now is with us. And in the coming time, don't forget, you will start buying the CO2 kits. The game is started in October, November. That people could see, could understand. Now you have seen. The single core unit, now you see a similar course. And even these core units in the coming time are obsolete. Because in a way, we are going in the direction of creating a plasma like sun without the container. Don't forget, Tesla created a mass. Now the energy is in the plasma. So I go again, I recommend my government, the Iranian government, please do not hesitate, don't be hesitant to stop. You sign the agreement, wait for two weeks, no more than two weeks. Then you understand none of the Iranian national assets should move to the United States to pay for the Boeing, which are obsolete. Because you can use the same system in your car to go to state at zero cost. Good morning. This teaching become very much all American, huh? Every time. Actually, we have one American guy this afternoon at three o'clock. He's flown all the way from Arizona for 10 minutes here to go back. The whole process is very, very interesting. And when we release the first caller system, don't forget, by chance, caller system has become the first one, not the energy system to be ready, because I don't think the energy system is needed. But people look for something big to give them something huge. So, we might even scrap, we still put a Coca-Cola or a cola can size inside, we give you a very big box, if that makes you happy. Would you like it? You still want a big one. You still want a small one. You want a salt shaker. Mm. <laughs> Actually, the, the salt shaker unit is with him. He's got it. We are not going to buy it. We already have it. Correct? We got three of them. So all we need is to miniaturize. Why people keep on asking us, can you give us a specification? How many kilowatts? What can we do? What is the outcome? What will be going in? How much do I have to pay? You take as much as you need and no more because we don't need to run a power station. The energy sits in the GANS, 
in a plasma, whenever you need it, you tap on it. You tap into it. So you don't need a battery to reserve energy. All the school of thoughts of energy, motion, food reserve is gone through the window. I don't say so, a working unit sitting there. And our Westinghouse man has been taking a record of it every day. 